Greetings Poofarians, welcome back to another bite-sized bit. This time we're playing every Metroidvania game ever. I'm diving in blind, I do not know what to expect. I have played a couple of Metroidvania games in my life. And it says press U to play new game. Or is it V? Do I need to focus? It's U. <laughs> The Electro Storm was too fierce. Your starship is heavily damaged. Good news, you are in one piece. Bad news, all your equipment is fried. The barren surface of the planet is gloomy. Uh, we can go left or right. Let's go left. The path disappears into a huge corrosive pool. A platform can be seen above the pool a bit far. An odd metal hook is attached a shorter distance to you. You on the right side of the pool. Uh, you has tried jumping to the platform. The platform was too far. You fell into the pool. The corrosive liquid caused damage before you could reach the ledge again. All right. Uh, let's go uh, right then, and let's go right again. Small, spiky, pinkish, rampant creatures idly look for food left and right. You can try to jump over them. You stand on the left. Uh, I'm gonna jump over the creatures. You cross the room. Now we can go to the right. You found a room with a technology very close to your nano coffin. You successfully added it to your network. Great, we can save the game now. Uh, energy and life at 100%. Great. Let's go to the right again. Three platforms can be reached, one on top of the other. To the right, a green energy field is blocking the way. On the ground, there's a small gap where you can fit and go down. You know what? Jump to go up. You failed and fell to the bottom of the room. Let's go down then. This is no longer the surface of the planet. The top of the shaft is the passage to go up. At the bottom, it is possible to go right. There's also a crack on the left wall. We cannot do anything with a crack yet. Let's go right. This room gives an ominous feeling. Huge doors close to the middle of the room. There's a faint energy field to the right. Uh, we can't do anything here. Go up, save the game, sure. Uh, jump over the creatures. But now we end up here again. Yeah, that doesn't work. Gonna jump again. You died. Luckily, nano coffers exist. The nano coffers interfaced in uh, to your network. Yeah, so we are there again. Uh, and we cannot jump up. You fa you were able to perform multiple jumps. You found a laser gun. You can now shoot. Aha. Three platforms. Shoot the fields. Your shot is ineffective. Okay. Nothing up there anymore. Uh, wait. Target the cracks. Your shot is ineffective. Uh, shoot. The field went down. You found a bomb on a pedestal. You can now use energy to detonate bombs. Uh, jump. Oh, wait a minute. The huge door is open, but the ones to exit closed. An enormous bipedal creature with plates on its back stares at you. All of a sudden it shoots a laser from one of its appendances. I'm gonna jump over him. The timing was off. The projectile partially hit you. Uh, shoot the legs, shoot the belly or the head. The legs of the creature are blue, the belly pink, and the head slightly green. I'm gonna shoot the belly. You hit it. The creature curved into a ball. The biped is curved into a ball, protected by its plates. Drop a bomb in front of it. The creature has sustained damage. The creature retaliates, shooting a projectile. Jump. Your timing was off. The projectile partially hit you. Shoot the belly. I missed. Creature retaliates, shooting a projectile. Jump over. Timing was off again. Jesus. Uh, the belly is still pink. You know what? I'm gonna shoot the legs this time. I missed. Of course. Jump up. Hey, we jumped over the projectile. I missed again. Timing was off. I'm gonna keep on shooting the legs. You hit, but it didn't seem to affect the creature. Okay. So we actually need to shoot the belly. Or maybe not. Maybe we need to shoot the head this time. I missed. Jump over. I died. 
Oh boy. Down, down, shh. Oh no. Up. Perform double jumps. Targets here. The field went down. Right, bombs back. Jump over. Thank you. Shoot the belly. Here we go again. I missed. Oh, come on. Why not? Shoot the head then. Uh, curved into a ball. Drop a bomb. Sustain to damage. Jump over. Uh, the belly is blue. The head is pink. Slot the green. The legs. Shoot the legs. I missed. Shoot the legs. No. The belly blue. Legs green. That's not good. I need to shoot for the, the pink one. The belly is pink. Curve the two ball. Drop a bomb. Sustain damage. Yes. And I died again. Okay. Well, here we go. Thank you. Got the gun again. Okay. So it's pink. I missed. And uh, now the legs are pink. Put the bump down. Uh, the head is pink. Come on, don't miss him. Uh, the belly. And the legs. Put the bump down. Yeah, come on. The belly is pink. Oh my goodness. I hit it, yes. Place a bomb here. The creature shakes faster and faster and all of a sudden explodes in multiple pieces projected in the room. You won that fight. Hey, hey. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna save. Screw you guys, I'm gonna save. Bomb the wall. You can now go left. The back of this cavity was a life power up. Holy crap, that's a lot of life. Game saved. Um. Small, spiky, pinkish thingies, I leave for a loot. Shoot them. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. The room feels weird without the creatures. It seems there is a nest nearby. Won't be long before some come back. Alright. There are cracks on the ground below. Drop a bomb. It's now possible to go on the ground. This place seems like part of a transportation hub. Seems you activated it just by walking in. Uh, we can go down. This cavern is full of live, weird plants cover every surface. There's an opening to the left and to the right. You see, on a platform, a computer you can interact with. Uh, let's do that then. Oh, we got a map. You downloaded the map date. Let's go and save here in the nano coffin. Sure, now let's go to the left. The rock is covered with lush yellowish grass and plants. A small creature lurks in the middle of the room. It looks nasty and nimble. He stands on the right. Uh, attack the creature. Try jumping over it. Nasty and nimble. Shoot it. Creature avoids the shot at the last moment and bites you in the blink of an eye. Uh, okay, I'm gonna jump over it. You jump just at the right time. The creature tries to bite you without success. Ha ha. The room is covered in grass and purple flowers. There's a metallic ring and an opening above. You found a nano whip on a pedestal. Press V to change weapons. Oh, nice. Uh, save the game. We can save the game. But it says save the game. Shot is ineffective. No, we, we need to use the whip. There. The whip fuses with the ring. As you hold it, the whip then contracts and unhooks for the ring. You're launched to the top. Great. That's some kind of grappling hook. This small vegetal grotto has a small opening on the right and a bigger one to the bottom. A powerful green energy field blocks the path to the left. We're gonna go right. The tiny dead end. Behind the grass you find an energy power up. Yay. Can we uh, shoot the shield here? The shot is ineffective, of course not. Try jumping over it. 
Oh, I managed to cross the room somehow. We're going to save again, heal up. And this place is split in two by tall, razor-sharp vegetation. It is slightly waving as if it had a will of its own. Stent on the left. Use weapon on grass. You destroy enough grass, it is already starting to grow back. Uh, maybe we need to whip it. You destroy some stuff, but it will grow back quickly. Okay, go to the right. This large place is covered by damp vegetation. There is an opening on the left and another on the right. You also notice a hole on the upper right. Too far to jump to. Three metal rings can be seen nearer, forming a line towards the hole. Um, aim at the hooks. Using your whip, you manage to use the metal rings as anchor points and launch yourself from ring to ring. Fortunately, you didn't reach the hole this time. But this time? But this time? You successfully launch yourself through the hole. Small patches of grass can be seen in this small cavity. A protective piece of equipment is hanging from a hook. Grab the vest. So we got the nano vest. Nice. Um, I'm gonna save. Use weapons on grass. And then save. And use weapons on grass. And to the right, you activated this transportation node. It seems untouched by the evasive vegetation. Travel to previous node, travel to next node. Oh, now that's handy. Uh, we can go down. Pointing up, deadly vegetal spikes are filling the bottom of this long open space. A thin metal bridge makes the crossing possible. You stand on the right, well, cross the bridge. As you start touching the bridge, a mechanism triggers and it draws back from your feet. You fall into spikes and quickly try to go back. Uh, can we do it again? No. The... Wait a minute. The metal bridge has retracted, making the crossing impossible. Alright, well, you know what? Travel to the previous node. Up. Then save here. Then let's see what we can do here. Uh, an odd metal hook is attached a short distance to you. Alright, aim at the hook. The whip fuses with the ring. As you hold it, the whip then contracts on the hooks. You are launched to the top. Um, on the platform above the pool where you now stand is a bowl with tiny writings and circuitry. The left side of the pool is still quite far away. Pick, pick up the ball. You found a dash power-up. You are now able to benefit from a short-term acceleration. Can we now... Go back, try, jump to the left? The left side was too far, even with dash. You fell into the pool. Um, we are back at the right side, can we? Aim at the hook again. I'm launched to the top. Alright, try again. Yeah, that doesn't work. So we're gonna save. But then what? We, we... Maybe. Maybe we can do it now. Maybe we can now cross the bridge as fast as possible using dash. <gasps> you go as fast as you can. The bridge draws back, but you manage to cross. Pointing up, deadly vegetal sparks are filling the bottom. Yes, I stand on the left. Hey, another nano coffee. A wall falls behind you. In front of you is a huge metal cube with a red antenna on top. Three red orbs and many menacing holes can be seen on its surface. The cube is becoming red. Uh, jump. You jump just in time to avoid lasers that were generated from the holes. The antenna is now pink. It seems you have a small window before the construct can attack again. Uh, aim at the antenna. Aim at the antenna. Shut the antenna with success. It seems to have caused some damage. The cube has launched small orbs. They're slowly falling. You can avoid them if you time your movements right. Uh, move forward and back. You avoid the orbs. They explode as soon as they reach the floor. Nice. The antenna is now pink. Yes. Shut the antenna. There's more damage. Uh, small orbs. Move forward. Too slow. Oh boy. Uh, shoot at the antenna. I destroyed the antenna. 
The cube surface is getting red, an attack is imminent. Jump! All of a sudden, multiple lasers are generated from the holes. You jumped a bit too late. One of the lasers damages you. The antennas destroys, the orbs are now pink. Alright, aim at the orbs. As soon as you hit an orb, they will all become red again and the structure is getting ready to unleash an attack. Uh, slowly moving. Yes. And uh, the orbs, shoot them. Yes, and they are quickly falling. Okay, dash, because they are now quickly. And again, the orbs are pink, attack. They become red. Cube surface is getting red and attack is imminent. Jump! I jump just in time. The antenna is destroyed. Aim at the orbs. Yeah, they're slowly falling, so... Slowly avoiding them. Attack there. Am I doing it right? Quickly falling, dash. Drop a bomb in front of it. That didn't have any effect. Okay, jump. And uh, aim at the orbs. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. Slowly falling. Um, I mean... I am hitting them, but nothing... Maybe I should whip them. Let's try that. Maybe I should whip them. Uh, aim at the orbs. There you go, you hit the three orbs at the same time. This is very effective. Okay, we're gonna jump again. Jumped a bit too late, but we're gonna... There, that's very effective. Slowly falling, that means that one. Okay. The cube shakes and is emitting more and more light. The light becomes blinding and the cube finally explodes in pieces. Smoke coming out of one of the parts. The wall behind you went down and there's a new opening to the left. This place is not protected anymore. Okay, let's first heal up and save. And uh, a few orange shrubs can be found in this room. And an odd crack to the left. There's also an opening on the bottom with a ladder coming out. You can go to the right or use the ladder. I'm gonna drop a bomb. Rocks crumble, opening a path to the left. There's a small pedestal in the center of this cavern. On it, you find an energy power-up. Yay! Let's go down then. Weird moss can be seen almost everywhere. Untouched by vegetation, a metal panel with a computer you can interact with can be seen on a wall. Enter version. Enter with the map. Ah! Oh boy. Download the map data. Oh, that's it. We can't go down. This actually is the end of the version. Oh, but it was fun. I had fun already. It's honestly, it is like every Metroidvania game. out there. I got all kinds of visuals in my head while playing this game because it's how it is. It, I mean, the storytelling is great. It, 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 there's just decisions you have to do, but it's it all makes sense if you play Metroidvania games. It all makes sense a lot. I had a very strong Metroid vibe on uh, on playing this, but yeah, job well done. And that's another bite-sized bit for us. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, tell your parents about me, and leave a thumbs up. And I hope to see you next time. For now, I buffet. Salute you.